Gonzaga, a top five team in the nation, but on the road Wednesday night, they have to avenge two consecutive losses to Washington State. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you here on College Basketball Previews on CBSSports.com. Last year's loss to Washington State, Gonzaga scored just 47 points, the fewest the team has scored in 19 years. Let's bring in Steve Lapis of CBS College Sports to break it down. And uh, Steve, we'll get to that in just a sec in terms of the game itself. But when you look at Gonzaga and the impressive wins they've had this year as a whole, is this Mark Few's most talented team? Well, it's certainly the most talented front line he's ever had. When you look at Josh Heitfeld and how he has played, then you have Austin Day as a 6'10 four man. Then you have Micah Downs as a 6'8 three man. All three of them can shoot threes. Even Josh Heitfeld, you have to think that as far as a front line goes and the way they rebounded against Tennessee, this is the best front line he's ever had. But Steve, scoring on Washington State has been a problem for Gonzaga the last couple of years with these players. Uh, do you think that could still be a problem tonight? Yeah, well, there's no doubt that Gonzaga's going to have trouble scoring up there. We know that. Look at what happened in the last game. Okay, Washington State lost the game at home to Baylor. Baylor's one of the highest scoring teams in the country, and they got 58 at Washington State. So Gonzaga's definitely not going to score the 80-plus points that they're used to scoring in this game. Well, as for Washington State's offense, though, Steve, could be a, a different problem here. You, you lose Lowe, you lose Weaver, you lose Calgill, you lose three of your top five scorers from last year. So who does the offense run through this year? Well, let's start with Harmerling and Baines. They still have a big, bruising-type front line, but they have a kid who's a freshman. He's the third highest-scoring freshman in the Pac-10 named Clay Thompson. 6'6", guard, forward-type player. So he's done a great job of coming in and taking the place of Weaver and Lowe. So they still got some pretty good weapons out there, and the emergence of this freshman makes a difference. Steve, what do the Cougars have to do to pull the upset again? Well, I think the Cougars are going to pull the upset. First of all, let's understand this. That game they lost to Baylor was the first time they lost a non-conference game at home since 2004. Now, they are playing two quality opponents back-to-back -back at home. I think Washington State will control the tempo in this game. Gonzaga is going to have to play a way different game than they've been used to playing so far this year. See, when they played a great team like Tennessee, at least the tempo was the kind of tempo they like. This is going to be a game where I think Washington State is going to do a great job of controlling the tempo especially being at home. All right, so you're picking Washington State to upset a top five team. Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, folks, for more on this game or any other, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.